you haven't appeared in a, in a big league game since 2015. How long of a stretch does that feel like for you? I mean, about as long as it seems. Uh, I guess I missed like a year and a half of that because of Tommy John. So I really don't count those years, but uh, I'm ready to get back, that's for sure. And, you know, players always talk about results not necessarily mattering in, in the spring, but for a non-roster invitee such as yourself, do, do you put a little bit, even as a veteran, put more impact on getting results when you're trying to make a club? Uh, yeah, I think everybody in my position that's a non-roster invitee knows the results do matter for us, uh, especially early, you know, first impressions matter. So uh, pretty much I think everybody in my situation does the same as I did is come in ready, you know, not mid-season form, but not in March form. Next question goes to Marley Rivera. Marley, please unmute. Um, hi, Lucas. Thank you very much for the time. Lucas, if you can take us back to where you were at this time last year, we're talking to a lot of the guys in terms of it being a year after we got hit by this pandemic, and where you were in your preparation, um, obviously, um, and now a year later. Uh, I mean, I think like everybody else, we were kind of confused. Uh, nobody really knew anything about the virus or how long we were going to be out. So honestly, at this time last year, I was staying ready even when we shut down because we were thinking maybe it's just a week, you know, or two weeks. So just trying to stay ready, really. And how was the disappointment of the fact that last season was what it was, that you're still searching, right, for that pitch in the majors uh, being back? Uh, it was obviously disappointing because I didn't get to really – show what I could do. I was at alt site, but it's just only you're limited so much there. Uh, and there just wasn't any, the Oakland's bullpen did good. Uh, you know, there was really no injuries and everybody did what they're supposed to do. So there wasn't any movement. So it was kind of out of my control. And one last one, Lucas, when you look around you at the very talented, um, you know, Yankees bullpen, do you believe what can you contribute? What can you bring? I mean, I feel like I could bring a little bit of everything. I've pitched long out of the bullpen. I've pitched short. Uh, even last year in all side, I asked to pitch three innings every outing uh, for a couple of weeks just to uh, build my resume to show that I'm not just a lefty-lefty situational guy. Eric Bowen, please unmute. Lucas, what, what appealed to you about the Yankees situation? Obviously, as a non-roster guy, you have a variety of places that you could have gone. Uh, well, the fact that they contacted me last year on the first day, and it was kind of in between them and Oakland last year, I ended up going with Oakland, but then they backed it up again this year and contacted me again the first day. It kind of showed me that they really were like truly interested in the conversations I have, and it's playing for the Yankees. Uh, you know, I grew up watching them. I was a big Pettit fan. He went to my junior college, so it's just kind of, you know, something I wanted to do, and it felt right. 